But you see, right now we don't. Um, yes, that is what happens. Um, um, our company is a company that has a pool of investors and directors. Okay, so they're the ones who come together. They put in the money together, and then they decide they're going to now bring up an entire project. Yes. Wow. and amazing people we are here with SPM Buzz and Benny Experience we are here trying to look at beautiful as you can see we have a very beautiful seat a very beautiful lady so we are here to look at what purple.international is all about karibu sana asante sana probably give me a little bit of introduction tell us who you are Okay, my name is Yolanda Anzare. Mm -hmm. I am head of PR at Purple Dot International Limited. Um, I mean, know you're wondering, um, Purple Dot, Purple Dot. Today, today everything has been Purple Dot. I'm wearing purple. I mean, um, I'm loyal to the company. So, um, Purple Dot International Limited is a developer. We major, we major in real estate. Uh, we do both residential and commercial properties. So far, we have amazing properties all over the country. That are selling out very fast yeah wow that is really amazing you know someone will want to know before we proceed like why did you guys choose the word purple dot what was the beauty in it <laughs> well um i there was no really okay how do i put it first of all it's um my boss's favorite color we begin there mm -hmm. number two we all know that purple is a royalty color it mm -hmm. comes with a lot of luck a lot of gist it's an oomph color it's 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 an etiquette color mm -hmm. and that is a yes it mm -hmm. is and it is what we actually do that um aligns very well with the color mm -hmm. we are a luxurious brand and so when we say purple, you understand royalty and luxury and, you know, the, the etiquette that it comes with. That is who we are in very simple terms. Wow, you guys are doing amazing. Very beautiful building. I know when we walked in, we have seen a very clear residence. I think it's still up to speed. Yeah. Do we have people living there already? Yes, it's, um, I'd say it's 98% filled up. It's taken up. It's done. We only have like three or four houses left that are left for occupancy um yeah so yeah they are going out so fast okay you know uh, b building houses in kenya is not some easy task mm -hmm. how do you probably get land how do you start building how do you decide where you want to build for example well i'll say most of it is a lot of research because um for the company to actually decide where to build um, first of all, we always have a database. Any company must have a database, a database of investors whom we've interacted with before. We have conversations with them. They tell us what the idea of the houses they're looking for. Then they actually give us an idea of, um, let's say, the places that they're really interested in. So let's say for starters, we started with our first, first projects were in Langata. There was a very good demand there for houses in Langata. And we did um, standalone houses very amazing three bedroom houses and they were sold out immediately. Then now they, they came a need for, every time we, we marketed the houses in Langata, people asked for apartments. You don't have a, an apartment close to town, you don't have an apartment close to town, so now that gave us an idea of what to do. So we came up with Elena. So Elena was, this, uh, was the reason, it came up because people kept on asking for it. And I mean, you've taken, you've taken a tour with you, you've seen how amazing it is. So all the features that are in here is based on conversations about when you go in a database and you see a lot of people asking for these things, then we decide, the bosses decide, okay, now this is what we're going to do. They put down all the features, they list them down, then they decide this is what we're going to offer. And after that, now they go down to construction, putting finances into place, and voila, we have what we have here. So, like, uh, if I get this right, mm. uh, the like Elena, the entire building is not like necessarily owned by one person. It is different investors who put money for you to get for you guys to build. Yes, but oh, this, that is really amazing. The clientele, you know, sometimes you have houses that go for monthly. I don't know if that is possible. Mm. And then you have probably houses that uh, people take forever. Is there a lipam dogo mdogo or is just everything? <laughs> you know, we are talking to Kenyans and Kenyans 
<laughs> help people who can say I can't afford maybe mm. 100 million mm. at uh, what what do you do yeah well I'm glad you've brought up finances because I nyewe kila mtu anaumia money is a, a factor that we all feel the pinch for and we're looking for it very very heavy now this is what we do um usually we have um we have a payment plan we have different payment plans so when you come to us well let's say when you see one of our property and you're interested in them and then now you do your due diligence you do your research and you are okay with whatever we are offering and then you come to us and tell us now we want elena or we want serene park or we want marigold or probably we want we also have commercial properties where we have warehousing projects and we have offices grade a it certifies or certified offices so when you tell us maybe i want a warehouse or i want a house at Elina or Serene Park, this is what we do. We sit you down. Then we tell you, we ask you what you have as your finances. So you're the one to explain to us what you have. Now, if you're banking with someone, we usually have partnerships. We are in partnerships with very many banks in Kenya. So now this is what, what happens. So you tell me maybe you're a member of this bank X. So we reach out to our people at bank X who will look at your credit score. All right, because you know Kenya, you, all places that you choose to invest, your credit, your credit score really matters a lot. So um, you sit down with these guys and then they advise you on how to move forward. So maybe they say, okay, now we're going to finance your mortgage, yeah? But now we're going to do, do it at this and this rate. Now this is between you and the bank. You sit down and you agree upon the financing and everything that happens. So they tell you, okay, we're going to do this at this rate, all right? So up to there, now you have an option. You didn't have money, but now you have to look for a certain deposit amount, maybe perhaps, let's say 10% of the amount. <coughs> Sorry. And then the rest of the amount, they are going to finance for you. Yeah? So now you do your deposit and then they do the mortgage for you. That is a very good way of saying, let us ease your pain and then we'll try to pole. That is really beautiful. I know many Kenyans. That is the hassle. You know, nowadays people say there is no money in Kenya. And of course, uh, you deal with houses. It's not easy to afford. And then, of course, we have people outside there who don't believe in owning a home. Mm -hmm. Or people believe that it's expensive to own a home. Mm -hmm. What is your own perspective? Well, I'd say, um, of course, every everything that scares you is really worth to have. Anything that scares you is worth to earn. If you, if you feel like you need to upgrade a phone and you're like, hey, iPhone 14 is very crazy, this is where your mind should be at. So if you, you're at a position where you know you want to own a house eventually and you don't know how to, sometimes I usually say um, take, take time. It doesn't really, owning a house does not begin with you having money. It begins with the research you do. It begins with you understanding finances. It begins with you understanding savings um, and everything real estate and housing. It begins with you understanding the laws and everything governing real estate. Once you start grasping that, then you now your mind will automatically click to the area of... Now, um, if this is what it takes to own a home, then in a year, this is what I'm, I'm supposed to do. So, unajua utajipangaje you get yeah so the level of the house that you want is entirely up to you you can choose to do a townhouse you can choose to do an away home you can choose to do it is always within your place of mind once you start understanding it all then it falls in line between this this time and this time this is what i need to have done and then I need to approach these guys for financing. Maybe I'm a guidance in finances. I might need to up my game in looking for money and all this. It's not an easy task, but it's a very necessary step. It's very necessary for you to take that step and actually own it. Because <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to ask you, uh, is, it, is it okay for someone to build in shacks or in town? What is your opinion? Honestly, I'd say it goes with your need. What is your need? You see, once you identify what your need is, then you'll be very okay with everything. For there are people who don't want to go back home. There are people who, want to, who are very comfortable here in Nairobi. And then those people who are just tired, they want to move away from Nairobi. And you see, that's why we give you options as Purple Dot. Purple Dot gives you options. You see, now here we are in Nairobi, you have this hole. If you don't want an apartment, then in Langata, there are townhouses. If you don't want Langata, you don't want to be in Nairobi, you want to move away from Nairobi, this is where we take you to Serene Park. 
Serene Park is away from Nairobi. So we show you another option, a very beautiful villa, four bedroom, swimming pool, gym, steam bath, clubhouse, whatever you want. Very good security and you connect with nature. So we have all options for you. It's for you to tell us what you want. Of course, you have people who purchase houses and then they turn them into business, probably Airbnbs. How <laughs> measures that you've put in place to make sure that your places are safe? Well, unfortunately for us, mm -hmm. we really do not do Airbnbs. Wow. In our, yes, we do not do Airbnbs. So in anyone our, who takes your home is definitely coming to stay? Not necessarily. Okay. You can choose to rent it out. Okay. Yes, you can choose to rent it out, but we do not really Family. do. Yes, families. But we don't do. We don't. We have really stayed away. We have. We are making. We are trying our best to stay away from Airbnbs. Well, because you know why. And uh, yes, we really don't want to. To, and also, most of the people who take our, our, own our properties are families. We do not want to go against what they're looking for. You see, when you're deciding to have a family and settle in this, you're, you're spending that much money and you want to stay here, you don't want to, to be around some certain type of behavior, let's say, or some, you know, there are a lot yeah, of things, yes, yeah. yes. So if you're choosing family homes, we, we, we tend to, to try so much and respect that family. Wow, yeah. this is really amazing. Of course, I won't leave before asking you. I've seen your page. You have very uh, ambassadors. You have Carl, Carol. Mm -hmm. You have Jamwada. Mm -hmm. You have very prominent people who understand the infrastructure, infrastructure yes. and processes. How is that working for you? It's amazing for us. For us, working with working with how do I put it? Working with anyone who understands real estate is a is a plus for us because um as much as we are a company who we say we are we are leading we of course we are leading we are leading in whatever we do we are international and everything but partnerships are human currency is a very powerful currency so anytime you work with someone else it gives us mileage it gives us um if anyone is okay working with us then we are doing the right thing. We are in the right path, and we know we are in the business in, of making people feel comfortable, providing beautiful housing projects. And you see, so for us, human beings are our highest currency, as much as we're looking for money. Okay. Mm. So, and and of course, you're gonna advise young gents. There are people making money mm -hmm. from different companies, betting and all. They make quick money, yeah. but they don't know how to invest that money, especially in homes. Mm -hmm. uh, what what advice do you have? I think I'll, I'll break this into two. One, um, I know of, well, considering this is March and we just celebrated the International Women's Day, I know we have a lot of women who are in positions of power, positions of making decisions and positions where they actually acquire money. Um, I would like for them to start considering investments, especially in, 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 in commercial, commercial property. Um, yes, we do. Uh, residential is amazing. But if you take a minute and look at commercial properties, what do I mean when I say commercial properties? I mean warehousing projects like the ones we have in Atha River. We have one called Harvest Industrial Park. Then we have the whole lot of Greylands. All those are warehouses. Or probably the, the, those places have beautiful ROIs. They really have good return on investments. Um, you get, you get, you get, it gives you two types of investments and returns that, that are amazing. You will never be dependent on someone financially. When you choose to come to, when you choose to do the residential way as well, you also have good rental returns, monthly returns that are very, very lucrative. So I usually say when you have that extra cash, try and think of something that will give you will give you double that money, not something that is going to waste your money. Now, the other thing that I wanted to say is um, the young people who get fast cash, pesa rice in itamu, I won't even lie to you, but a pesa rice in a sana, very fast. You, there is where you did not plan for it, it just appeared, uh, it's a betting thing. So you've been betting, but you've been hoping that it comes. You've not had like a clear idea of what you want. Okishikayo don't know unasikenga utami yake, sayono unajuanga, ah, nataka kwenda kukula place, jai kula, a lot of ideas come to mind when you have money. A lot. So I usually say breathe. I usually say when you have that money at hand, take a step back. Take a step back, close your eyes, look, look up in the sky, close your eyes and then think. If this money today, if, um, if the next time I'm going to get this much money is in 10 years, where do I want to be then for me to be actually able to get there? So if you want, if your priority is a car, 
then get a car. You see, I can't guide your priorities. I can only tell you what to do. But if you want, if you want something that will get you, give you mileage to the 10 years for you to actually get the other money, invest that money. Put it in something that will give you back. You see, when you're buying a car, it's no longer a luxury. It's a necessity, yes. But where are you for you to actually buy a car? Can you afford the fuel? Can you afford to take it to the garage? Can you afford to change oil? Can you afford to do all these things? If not, what do I need for me to actually get to a place where if I buy a car, then I'll be able to change the oil without cooling and say, ay, 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 igari le menikula do, igari na taka taya mpe, na taka sujuni ni imekuwa masujuni. When you get to a position where you can actually afford to give money to the garage and not feel sad about it, then you're good to go. It's called investments. It means some money is coming out from somewhere. It's coming from something else that is not your day-to-day job because five to nine to five job will never give you comfort knowing that at your garage na Wow. That's mm-hmm. amazing advice. One last question. Uh, you know, Kenya, there's a little bit of... I think most people are cl- crying that there is no investment. How is it working with your business and the times that we are living in? And of course, the dollar depreciating right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. All sectors right now economically are feeling the pinch, not just us. Everyone, everyone, if you're importing something, if you're exporting something, if you're buying something, the taxes are a bit, well, up there, which is where we are at, yeah, as an economy. We can't, when you, we see, when, when you tell someone, this is very hard, someone usually asks, what are you doing about it? You understand? So where we are at right now, yes, we are all feeling the pain and the pinch, but um, we are trying as much as possible to adjust, to adjust to where we are at, because whether we cry or not, this is where we, ha- we, we have gotten to. So I won't tell you that yes we we to number serikali to shukishia vitu tunataka kulilia serikali to consider apana as much as we are requesting that that happens and we are hoping that they actually look at it like that we are also trying to adjust and business wise at the end of the day biashara lazima ilete so we are trying all means possible to just live within our means and do the best we can and continue to provide quality services to our clientele well, speaking of quality, we have houses here that are not already sold out. Mm-hmm. So probably someone watching will want to purchase a house. Mm-hmm. Maybe you have something to Yes, yes, yes. If you're looking for a beautiful apartment and you want to buy them, come to Elena Residency. It is located at Mandera Road in Kileleshwa. You just come, you walk at the gate and you ask, there's a beautiful lady called Teresa who's always here. So when you say you're coming to check out the purple.elina residency, always ask for Teresa. Teresa will always take you through. I'm sure by the time we're done with this interview, I'll give you um, a tour of this house so that they can understand whatever we have here. There are three bedroom apartments. They are very spacious with open kitchen. Uh, Yes, I think you'll see the amenities by the time we're done. That is it, unless you have anything else to yes. say. Yes, yes, follow us. Um, if if you're looking to invest commercially or residentially, residential um, investments, please hit us up. Um, our pages everywhere you follow us is purple.international. That is purple.int. Everywhere, everywhere, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok. To Mahali as purple.int. We have amazing projects for you. Um, and, and yeah, we are your financial partners when it comes to investing. Talk to us. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing, guys. It's one on one with the one and only fully representative of Pavel.international. To end up a to a follow, to a party subscribers. And of course, let's buy the houses. It's easier today than tomorrow, isn't it? Exactly. And if you're afraid of doing it, you do it anyway. You do it afraid, you do it today. Because what was I doing yesterday? You have to do it and you do it now. Wow, till next time, that's been your girl, Benny, experience. Bye-bye.